What's going on guys? PowerGPU here. Today I'm going to be doing a video over the new monster that Nvidia just released, the Tesla P100. Um, it's a crazy graphics card. It's it's going to be the new pretty much Titan X. Um, it, it's it's going to be amazing. I hope you guys are all having a great day like I am. Uh, today's Thursday here at 9 o'clock on the East Coast. Uh, I just wanted to go over especially uh, what Tesla P100 is, what it offers. Um, and then supposedly some rumors about AMD's uh, new polarized GPUs are not going to be using HBM2. Who knows? That that's you know that's that's time will tell. Uh, but let's start off by pretty much talking about the new uh, the new Tesla P100. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be using HBM2, which is going to be awesome. Uh, it's going to be up to 16 gigs uh, of VRAM. Well, they're saying up to 32, but the ones that are be coming out would be 16. Uh, and then it's 40% boost over, or 40% uh, performance boost over the Titan X, which is insane. 40% uh, is a big is a big jump. Uh, that's usually when it's that big, it's one of those revolutionary jumps. Uh, I think we'd say when the let me see here, I'd probably say when the first Titan came out, that was probably that was a huge jump. That was a massive jump uh, from the previous generation. Uh, they will be using 4,096-bit memory interface, which gives you a whopping 720 gigabytes of memory bandwidth, which is double the Titan X. That is amazing. Uh, even though the Titan X, well, the 980 and the Titan X have been out now for about a year, a year or so, uh, which is good. That's that's. Uh, I usually say a year to a year to year and a half uh, to keep a card is great. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing yet. I have a GTX 980 Ti. Uh, definitely I will be getting the new Pascal cards. I'm not sure if I'll be getting the high end like I did before with the Titan. Um, but at least we know the consumer lineup is going to be offering very high performance. Uh, it's going to be based off this card, of course. So what you're looking at too, is going to have 15.3 billion transistors, which is double, uh, what the Titan X was, which I think was at 7.9, if I recall, uh, which actually, yeah, it was about 7.9. Uh, the other thing too is the CUDA cores are going to be a little bit different as well. It's not going to be the same as it was before. So you can't really say, oh, well, the Titan X has, or the, the new Pascals have this many CUDA cores versus, uh, you know, the 90 Ti has this many CUDA cores. It's not going to be the same count. Uh, the clusters are a little bit different. Uh, the design is a little bit different as well, uh, which I'll give you an idea here real quick. And uh, G GTC is still going on as as we speak. Today's the last day. Um, I'm not sure if they're gonna if they're gonna even announce uh, the Pascal uh, as far as the Pascal cards like for the consumer itself. Which I know they've been. I know AMD's been kind of releasing their 490, 490X type uh, thing as well throughout this whole thing. Let me see here. Let's go back to. Which one thing I will tell you, I can't wait for. I cannot wait for VR. VR has been pretty, pretty phenomenal. All right, here we go. So you got the Tesla P, which is the SMS clusters is at 56 versus the old Maxwell, which is 24. But like I was saying, the memory bit interface is 496 on HBM2, which is that's awesome. Uh, 16 gigs of VRAM. The L2 cache is 4096 kilobytes, which is pretty ridiculous. Uh, register file size in the GPU itself is actually 14,336 kilobytes versus the 6,144, uh, which that was previously on the Maxwell. And then, like I said, transistors, yeah, as far as the 8 billion transistors on the Maxwell versus 15.3 billion, uh, well, 8 billion versus 15.3 billion. Uh, and then the actual die size is actually pretty, this is the biggest one. It's 16, 10 millimeters, which is... Which is pretty big. The previous one was 601, and then on top of that, Kepler was 551 millimeters, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, we're using the 16. Well, Nvidia is now using the 16 nanometer uh, technology, which is which is awesome. I can't wait for that. Uh, so it's it's a powerhouse. I mean, it's going to offer a lot of a lot of like crunching for data and stuff like that for for the. For a lot of businesses that do, uh, you know, trying to cure cancer and stuff like that, or trying to find. Uh, just number crunching pretty much that's all it really is the other thing they announced was uh they have a supercomputer that's that's new now it's called the dgx1 kind of like the same thing they did when the titans came out uh the computer's gonna cost one hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars. 
It's using dual Xeon processors and it's going to be using eight Tesla P100s in it, which is going to be using NVLink as well, which NVLink is awesome too. That allows you to stack pretty much as many video cards as you want on a, on a board that supports it. And that's not going to be for the consumers like us, but uh, that's pretty neat as well, which you could, they, they have eight Tesla P100s with 16 gigs each using HBM2 eight times. I mean, that that's that's a lot of computing power. That is insane. That is crazy. Now, on another subject, let's let's turn back to AMD here real quick. So, supposedly the rumors are is that the 490 and 490X, which of course we don't know what they're called yet, uh, they're supposed to launch at the end of June. That might be accurate. It might not be. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that's maybe, maybe. We'll see. The other thing too is the HTC, I think Vive, Vive, Vivo, whatever you call that thing, uh, the VR, uh, that just came out as well, which if you guys haven't seen the video on it uh, from Steam, I'll drop the link below. It is pretty phenomenal. It costs $7.99. It includes the, the headset, uh, the two handles, and the sensors that you put in your room, which they recommend you having a nice, powerful computer, uh, good space to because you got to walk around while you're using it, uh, which actually I'm going to post a link as well at the bottom. Uh, Jerry Berg from Barnacles uh, did a video as well, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So shout out to you guys. Uh, but that was that was a pretty interesting thing that came out recently. And like I said, it looks pretty, pretty nice. It looks ridiculous. It looks amazing, actually. Uh, but that's pretty much it as far as the news that's come out so far. We still, have, like I said, we still have one more day uh, for GTC 2016, which is today. The, today's the last day. Hopefully, they they actually talk about the consumer level for uh, the NVIDIA GPUs for for Pascal. Hopefully, they do. But uh, as far as that, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely go ahead and like and subscribe. I'm gonna have a lot more videos to come. Especially when the new Pascal cards come out, I'll be definitely buying uh, uh, a card to review the highest or the the highest end one that comes out. And then when AMD releases theirs as well, I'll be doing a review on there. Which the good thing now is, I have two computers. I have one with a 3930K and one with a 3960X. So I'll be doing benchmarks back and forth. So if I get the AMD card with Nvidia's highest end Pascal card, I'll run them simultaneously. I'll do some benchmarks and. The difference in processing power on the 3930K and the 3960X is very similar. It's not it's not a big difference. Um, and they're both using the same exact motherboard as well and same exact RAM. So it's actually perfect. So once those two cards come out, we're going to do a little head-to-head -head battle on them. Uh, we'll see which one's better. Uh, I'll do a driver test as well, make sure drivers are, are stable, and I'll, I'll pretty much check as many games as I can. Um, and I'll go ahead and ask for a request as well from you guys to you know, let me know what game you want me to test out or try um, as far as the benchmarks go. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Have a great day as well. Uh, and like I said, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And make sure to follow me on Twitch as well. Uh, it's just PowerGPU. My wife and I like to stream and goof off on there as well. Uh, and that's it. PowerGPU signing out. See you guys in the next one. Peace.